All right, we are here for the week two BB Can 11 recap. I have the legend himself, my boy, a very, very good friend of mine, Johnny Mack in the house. This guy has been, we've been very, very good friends for, for a long time now. Uh, I cheered for him when he was on his season, and then when he came out, I was just very happy to hear he didn't have this big head on him, and he was so down to earth. He is one of the most genuine down to earth people. My buddy, Johnny Mack. Uh, my brother, what you doing, man? What's going on? What's new and exciting? Talk to you, man. Not much, Bruno. It's just uh, snowing here, so I felt like getting in the uh, Canadian spirit, you know? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Johnny – so Johnny and I play uh, a game called Destiny 2. It's uh, it's an awesome – he's, like, literally insanely good at it. The guy, like, carries me literally, and, and we've been playing that a lot uh, together. Well, we've been playing that together for a few years now, man, so it's been pretty good. Uh, yeah, Johnny, so BB Can 11. Now, listen, first I want to say thank you so much for, for coming on and doing this because I know – uh, you know, you're not, you don't watch BB can usually. And, and he's like, listen, man, I, I want to come on. He doesn't do podcasts normally. He's like, I'm going to do it for you because he's my buddy. So you won't see Johnny Mac on podcast. He's like, ah, you know, I usually don't do that stuff, but I'll do it for you because you're my boy. So I want to say thank you so much for being here. And, and, you know, he's watching BB can We watched the first two weeks at least. So, uh, who do you like so yeah. far, man? Who did you, who do you like from the season so far? Um, man, there's so, there's so many people and so many names. Yeah. <laughs> So many like duplicate names. Yeah, <laughs> Dan and Even Daniel. The people in the house they don't remember the names. So the one guy was calling the other one John Martin. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and she's like, "Who?" He's like, yeah, John, John Martin. And she's John like, Martin. She's John like, you don't even, Martin, my guy. Yeah, you don't even know the kid's name. So, yeah, <laughs> speaking of John Martin, I actually want to jump into that a little bit. Speaking of John Martin, uh, so John Martin did get evicted 11 to 0. It was pretty obvious it was going to happen. I think the show, they tried to edit it to make sure to make it show like, oh, is he, is he going to get the votes? They always do that, right? It's a suspense thing and it's a thing. But I think, uh, you know, anybody that understands what's going on, there was no way he was going to get uh, any votes. He kind of knew it was going to be 11 to 0. Um, the guy, you know, and with all due respect, this guy was absolutely atrocious at the game he went in saying he was a super fan and and he knows what to do in week four he says you know i know what to do every week when to throw a comp it's like buddy you're not even in the house yet let alone you got to get to that point before you can start saying i'm gonna throw this the game changes so fast um and didn't even make it past week one so uh he made a ton of mistakes like just horrible mistakes uh the biggest one i would say is telling the guys that he was going after them and he wasn't even hoh so how it works for those that are tuning in here uh they had an hoh competition and you were paired up uh and it was uh jm and santina they paired up and they did a puzzle it seems like it was like eight weeks ago this hoh went on for like two weeks it felt like it was like literally it's it's nice to be able to finally see santina not hoh because it was just it was too much so anyway santina and jm did a puzzle comp together they both they came in first then they had to go head to head uh jm uh santina ends up beating jm becomes the hoh jm is nothing he's just like a regular uh, he's not there's no safety nothing he's he's totally up uh to get a nominated so um J john michael tells the boys he's targeting the boys the thing is the boys are working with santina who's the hoh so santina and jm were partners she told him yeah i won't put you up but then he tells the boys he's targeting them who she's working with so what are you gonna do you're gonna put up the people that are targeting your your group so he ends up put, she ends up putting john michael on the block and he goes home 11 to 0 um one of the things i always love to hear johnny is when, when especially with like people that get voted out first or any time in the season it doesn't matter but especially when they say first and on his way out he goes oh it's a good thing you got me out i would have won what are you talking about, man? Like this, <laughs> this guy gets voted out week one and he's talking like he was the greatest thing in the show and he was going to win the show, but you couldn't even make it one week. What are you talking about? You would have won. This is like, th this is the easiest week to make and you can't even pass that. So anyway, uh, what are your thoughts on uh, the comp this year? Like, did you watch the HOH comp? Uh, yeah. So they, uh, they had like the series of, are you talking about like the one where they split up and the one team was playing for the HOH or yeah, the so other they, team was playing to stay off the block? Either or, one, both of them. They were both good comps. I think they were both good, good, good comps. So the one was they had to like go down the net and make the puzzle. Yeah. Yeah. That, that one I, I remember. What was, what was the HOH one? The other one was, I think they had to, uh, I know that I remember there was like, they had to take a ball and put it down the ramps, but did they have to do something before that? I don't remember. And they had to, like, they get the ball, they put it on the ramps, and they had to, like, piece the pieces in order to make it so, like, the yeah. ball would, would go. I don't know if they had to do something first. I don't remember. But anyway, Santina ends up winning, uh, and, and she's the HOH. One thing I'll say is that the BB Can comps are just incredible. Like, they really put their money and their time and their effort in there. Like, when you see the BBUS comps, no offense. Uh, but, uh, you know, they're, wow. they don't... 
Yeah, he's like, wait a minute. I didn't come up. I didn't come on here to to for some slander. Uh, no, but you know the BBU. Yeah, you come on. I'm just gonna make fun of your comps. <laughs> Yeah, no. no I, I like the uh I like the most recent one, the veto with the uh yes. the sliding back and forth. It was like a mix of the usual endurance thing plus you had to like get messy. Yeah. So I thought that was pretty cool. <laughs> that, they did such a good job. Such yeah, that's the one usually they're carrying something, they're all slipping, and then there's that montage, of everyone like, you know, like fumbling and falling and shit. They do a really, 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 really good job on, on the comps, man. I think I think the I think the comps have been really good. I think the cast has been really good. You liking the cast? What are you feeling about it? Yeah, definitely. It's a good cast. Yeah. Uh, they all they all definitely know what to do in front of the camera there, and uh, it, it's a lot of fun. Yeah. What are your What are your thoughts? You know who Zach? You know, what are your thoughts on Zach? Um, he's talking a big game, and it just seems to be working. It, it's probably. I feel like it will implode at some point. Um, but in the beginning, like people that get that sense that they can get away with anything in real life. They usually can get away with like 80% of things. But then the thing is like farther along in this game, you're probably going to get checked on that. that that's, yeah. However, he handles pressure that he's not used to getting. That's, that's going to make or break him. You know? Yeah. I think uh, I agree. I think he's doing a really good job right now. Well, I, I don't even want to say a really good job. I think he's doing a job in there. He's going in, he's, He's causing the mayhem. He's causing that, but he's going to get figured out really, really quick. I'm enjoying Zach a bit. I think he's bringing a lot to the table, uh, but I think he's, uh, he's he, as soon as, you know, I'd say if, if 70% of the people in that house win HOH this week, he's going on the block. I think people are already over his shit. Uh, it's just a matter of who, are they going to be able to take the shot on him? That's what it comes down to, I think, this week. But yeah, I feel like, uh, I feel like he, he's in trouble if he doesn't win or if, if someone on his side doesn't win. I think he's going to go up. I have. I haven't seen the the extra clips there. So like is has everyone just been kind of low key being like we got to get rid of him soon? Like yes. more than is shown on the shows. People yeah, so yeah, you're not watching the digital dailies. I don't think a lot of people are to be honest, but they uh they uh so yeah, basically a lot of the com- so here's how I see Zach. If he's on if he's either on the screen talking game or if he's not on the screen people are talking about him. So that's not usually good. If people are talking about you, they obviously just want to they're waiting for that shot and that time and that moment to get rid of you. Uh but yeah, he's definitely doing a lot of talking. He's rubbing a lot of people the wrong way. I think he's great for the show personally, but I don't think he has a chance to even I don't even think he's going to make jury. I don't even think he has a chance to make jury. But uh, he's been entertaining, man. But yeah, he's definitely in a lot of people's uh, mouths. Like the people are talking about him for sure. Now, um, there's a showmance in the house, uh, Ty and Claudia. So the the blonde girl from the East Coast and Ty. That has to be the weirdest showmance I've ever seen because they're, t- I guess they're together. They're showmance. But uh, they don't tell each other anything. They don't trust each other in the game. So you got Ty. It's very weird. So they're like, they're a showman's, but like he doesn't tell her anything and she tries to get information from him and he doesn't spill and he tries to get information from her and she's like, I'm not telling you. So it's like, it's really, really weird. I've never seen a showman's like this where they're together, but they're against each other. And in a sense, I wouldn't say against each other, but they don't trust each other, which is kind of weird. But yeah, so there's this like guys uh, alliance uh, that's out there. I think there's a lot of cracks in it. There's this girls alliance they're trying to form. Which, uh, you know, and that's the thing. They see, they see that these guys are always, you know, growing up and they're always hanging out and, and, and it's very obvious that these guys are working together. So of course it's going to draw everybody else uh, that isn't in this group together and be like, Hey, you see this, we got to We got to stop this. We got to get rid of this before it's a problem. Uh, and now there's, there's a girls Alliance forming and stuff and they want to take a shot. They just have to win. So something that maybe my 20 year old self wouldn't get, but something I get now is if there's a showman's brewing. You might as well just align with them. You can logically say like, oh yeah, we shouldn't. It's not good for our game. But whether you guys are talking game or not, everyone's aware that you guys have chemistry and they're threatened by it. So there's nothing you can do when you're in that situation. Even in real life, like, I don't know, like you're like you're in a coworker or something and you shouldn't be hanging out. It's just like you... Everyone already knows. Yeah. 100%. Before you do, everyone already knows. So there's no point in fighting it. You might as well just try to make the best of it that you can. I agree. And, and it's funny because on one of my seasons, that's what happened. There was a showman and they were trying to hide it from everybody. And it was just so obvious. It's like, who are you fooling? Like, you're not fooling anybody, you know? And it's like. It's not going to go away. 
Exactly. You know? Exactly. Yeah. So I, I agree with you. And I, I just, I find it really weird how, how they don't trust each other and they're not like talking and stuff. Uh, but, uh, they're in a showman's, which is kind of weird. So what do you want to see? Who do you want to see win this, uh, this week? If there is an HOH or, or who do you want to see win HOH this week? Who are we thinking? Um, I think it would be interesting to see someone who was nominated win, but it seems like the Dan that was nominated, he seems kind of like under the radar. So I don't think he would. And then I don't know if the other girl is good at comps. So. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Renee, yeah. Uh, I, I don't think it would happen, but I think it would be pretty cool. Yeah. I I, I think that the what was her the girl who lost the and got nominated lost the Oh Renee. Race, that, that, Renee? Yeah. She can't, the one that got automatically nominated? Yeah. Yeah. I think she was in a good spot because like <laughs> you got the title of dead last. Like if <laughs> anyone <laughs> should be in a spot where uh no one thinks they're a threat. I mean, that's you. Yeah, it's, especially you when they really don't have to do much. Especially when they call it dead last. Like it's like okay, yeah, you know, you like don't, you don't have to really just barely talk to people. No one's gonna really care because that I can see that first uh, eviction. You know, you get rid of someone just because they're not fitting in, not really because of game reason. Um, but not once you start moving into the second week, there's tension. Uh, People don't like people for this reason, or they're threatened by them in some way. So if you're just like non-threatening, you can just kind of coast through this second week. So she probably wouldn't want to win an HOH or anything right now. I agree, and that's what and that's one thing I always say. I think it's like like Vanessa, the uh, like the oh, I, I call her the older lady. She's not old, but she's the oldest in the house. She uh, like it's the character like that. The oldest in the house. I think the first week is always the easiest to put them up because it's easy to say they're not they're not fitting in, right? You got all these like twenty yeah. year olds and shit, right? And then you got the one person they're like forties or fifties or sixties, whatever it is. They just don't fit in. They're in a different mental space. Uh, they're a different part in their life. Like you know, they don't care about the things twenty year olds talk about and, and think you know. So it's easy to kind of target them out and be like see you later but the way i always see it is once that older cast makes it past you know week one week two week three it's hard to get them out because it's like are you gonna and i'm gonna say waste your hoh when you can take out like uh all these like you know big players these big personalities these big people in the game or are you gonna take out the person that's not doing anything wants to be the you know she says she wants to be the mom in the house and rub people's back and shit like are you gonna get rid of someone like that or are you gonna get rid of someone that's trying to play the game and win all these comps and you know, they're strategizing and they're turning people against you. Of course, you're going to go after those people first. So I always feel like the older cast, you know, they have a harder uh, early game, but an easier end game because they, they go from being an easy target to being an easy carry to the final two. And then you just beat them at the end of the final two. So I think she if she could survive the next couple of weeks. I think she's in a really good spot to go very, 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 very far uh, for sure. Now, speaking of that twist, we we're talking about the dead last twist. What are your, what are your thoughts on, uh, on it? Like, what are your thoughts on that? Where it's like, okay, if you come in last place, you're on the block. Cause I will say we learned at the end of this episode here that they already got rid of it. I, I kind of liked it. I thought it was a really neat twist myself personally. And, uh, and I, I was really, uh, it's unfortunate that they only made it last one week. It would have been nice if they had it play out a little bit because you could put more strategy into it. It, it changes even the voting dynamics. Like I, I haven't thought about it, but it's like, you can almost turn into like a survivor style of voting. You get some people to throw a couple of votes this way or something. And, and then a few votes go that way. You're splitting votes. I don't know, but you know, I, I feel like it would, it would split the votes a lot more, uh, in like certain situations or something. I don't know. I like the twist. What are your thoughts on it? Yeah, I liked it a lot. Um, I didn't realize at first that it was going to be three people nominated. I thought it was just going to be two with the, the dead last person being one of those mm -hmm. two, but once it, I realized, okay, it's three. Yeah, that that kind of shakes things up a lot because you don't need, like, how would I put it? The person who gets evicted might not get evicted by much. Like, back in the day, there was a lot of, like, close votes, but more recently, it's usually one way or the other, and you can kind of tell which way it's going to go. But the more people you have nominated, the uh, the more that can go, and you're almost moving like you said towards the survivor situation where anyone who's not holding the necklace can go you know so uh I, more nominations i think was pretty cool i think uh like i said just losing that competition kind of just takes everyone's eyes off of you and they're because two people still have to be nominated so people still have to talk about why they're nominating people and that itself just like 
starts up its own drama and then that's usually what's going to be followed through on at the end of the week not oh who lost the competition you know? yeah and i also uh, the other thing i liked about the three people nommed see to me i look at it as a as a chance for the house to cause more like chaos and more like uh, drama towards the the hoh it's like so now, like, okay, perfect example. Renee gets put on the block because she's dead last. The the HOH nominated Anika and uh, Dan. Then Ty won the veto, took Anika off, and then Santina, who's the HOH, put up uh, JM. So the HOH put up three nominees, okay? But there's been four nominees this season because of the extra one. So if you're in the house, if I'm in the house, I would say, hey, guys, listen. The HOH just nominated three people. Why don't we vote out the dead last? So now what you're doing is you're voting out the person, the one person that the HOH didn't nominate, which leaves three people in the house still that week that she nominated. So that's three people that are like, hey, listen, you nominated me. You don't care for my game. That's three people, if they win HOH, are probably going to aim right back. And guess what? The HOH, Santina, can't even play in the next week. Everyone can just throw it and be like, hey, listen, here it is. It's for you. Take it. You guys take your shot at her. Your hands are clean. They do the work for you. Bob's your uncle, you know? So... I think there was some really good opportunity for gameplay with that extra twist, but they got rid of it already. I was a little bit uh, disappointed, to be honest. I thought it was a good addition. Because here's the thing. We, I don't like twists. You guys know I don't I don't like twists. But a twist like that isn't game-breaking. It's a twist that it changes things up. It, it makes things a little fresh. And it's not like game-breaking. It's not like, oh, everyone's instantly evicted or something. You know what I mean? It's just like it's subtle, but it you can play with it and you can make moves with it. So I, I, I'm kind of disappointed they took it out, to be very, very honest. To be very honest. Now, uh, Johnny, what are your thoughts on the no feeds this year? They took, they canceled the feeds. What do we think of that? Is that a good thing, a bad thing? What do we think? Uh, again, my younger self that like watched feeds and stuff would probably be like on the internet raging. But <laughs> having been on the show and seeing what social media does to people, this absolutely needs to happen. Yeah, I think it needs to happen on our version of big brother too um it's just i think people that not i don't want to say fans because that's like generalizing but like there's definitely a s very small number of fans who take things too far and try to ruin people's lives after the game but I, for whatever they said it could have been like the worst thing ever said on camera i don't care uh you it doesn't give you the right to go after someone's life afterwards. And I think people don't realize like, we're here to entertain you. Like, hey, we don't need you. You know, the, um, the, this like entitlement that, uh, big brother casts are like here to serve you and you can like destroy their lives, whatever you want. It's like, they're, no, they're here for your entertainment. They're, they're not getting paid much. They're there, uh, uh, showing you their lives. And like, you should just either, if you don't like it, just don't watch <laughs> that. Yeah. And that should be the end of the conversation. And that, I think that's what has led to no feeds here, unless it was like more of a financial thing, but I think it's better for everyone's sanity after the show that there's no feeds. Yeah, I think it's been – here's the thing. So now the feeds are cut, and uh, here's, 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 here's what I think. So the feeds are gone. The feeds are gone. Wendy's and – I don't know. There's all these fucking sponsors. I don't even know. I don't care. So Wendy's is a sponsor, whatever it is, okay? Here's – every time Big Brother or Wendy's posts anything on Twitter, it's, it's, it's a madhouse, Johnny. It's just like people spamming, you know, I'm not buying Wendy's. Fuck you. Give me the feeds. And it's just like – they're just – it's just – people say any publicity is good publicity. I don't think this is good publicity. So they're getting just spam. Arissa had to turn her comments off on, on her Twitter uh, post, which is crazy. Um, there's been a lot of things. The fandom does it now. And I'm not going to say, like you said, I'm not, I'm not generalizing everybody. There's that, that group we're talking about. It's like a very to toxic group. This is the group I'm talking about. Not, not every fan, not the like, just a specific toxic group. They're the reason why the feeds are gone. They are the reason why the feeds are gone. And they're so unaware that they don't realize it's because of them so now when wendy's or arissa is posting all this stuff on twitter they're the ones going i'm not eating wendy's and fuck you and give me the feeds and da 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 da, -da. they don't realize they're doing even more harm to the show what if next season wendy's says you know what we don't need this shit like 
we don't need every time we post something on Twitter, we don't need these these psychopaths to spam our our, our Twitter with like "go fuck yourself" and we're never eating Wendy's and give us the feeds like. Wendy's is bigger than Big Brother. Like, like, yeah, yeah. Ninety nine percent of the people that eat at Wendy's have no idea what the hell Big Brothers what they're talking about. These people saying give us our feeds. They're looking at the Twitter. What the hell do they mean? Give us our feeds? Like, they don't even know what that means. So, you know, Wendy's is bigger than Big Brother. They can just say, you know what? We're gonna take our money and we're gonna put it elsewhere. We don't need this shit. Like these crazies. Like what? What the hell? We're a food company. We don't need to get spammed with like go. You know, like come on. So these people don't realize by what they're doing could actually cause even more harm to the show and it's not going to be just the feeds that are canceled if the show has no money if the show has no sponsors there is no show so it can go from the feeds being cut and the same toxic group that is just spamming all the sponsors that the sponsors are going to go you know what? we don't need this shit we're going to go somewhere else put our money somewhere where it's like peaceful and you know not full of crazies and uh, and we'll just go peace of mind and guess what happens if they have no money, there's no show. Big Brother's a business. At the end of the day, Big Brother is a business. And if there's no money, there's no business. So I um yeah, I think it's a tough I I, I know like you're saying, I know and I, I want to be sensitive to the people that love the feeds because I get it. People watch the show for the feeds. I get it. I want to be sensitive about it. But uh there's that select group that ruin it for everybody. And that's what they always say. There's always a, a few that ruin it for everybody. Well, that's what that's what we're getting right now. And and it's very apparent from what I'm seeing on on Twitter. That it was probably a good thing because, man, there are some people that just can't handle it. They're stomping their feed and like, oh, give me my feeds. Like they're like a bunch of kids. Like, what the fuck, man? You know what I mean? So, um, yeah, it's a tough one. It's a tough one for the people that, you know, that they can watch it resp- responsibly and not get all crazy about it. But there's a lot that can't. And that's that's the unfortunate truth. Um, yeah, you, you like put yourself in like a producer of one of these shows uh, shoes. And right. you, know, you already know the people you're finding like uh, – almost crazy you're you're looking for people that are like just short of crazy there yeah, right and on the so cusp <laughs> you're putting them in the house and potentially ruining their lives if they make like one off color comment hmm. like that's a lot of responsibility that you have to go home and live with at night you're putting 16 people in there that you could destroy their life like right afterwards and i uh, if the feeds aren't like super profitable, it's a very easy decision, like an ethical one. You just got to cut them. <laughs> yeah, it's a business. Like that's what I try. Like, Big Brother is a business first. They don't care about you, me, or anybody. They care about the bottom line, the bank account, what's coming in, sponsors, numbers. That's what this is. It's about numbers and all that stuff. That's 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 the way business works. But people don't realize that when they're watching it. They think, oh, it's all about me. You know, this is this show is built to entertain me, and that's what it is. I need my entertain. No, it's it's a business, and they, they got to look at the all the numbers and does this work or does this not work you know it's just the reality um what do you think about the bros alliance man uh, i think it's gonna work for a little bit here yeah um, they they seem pretty solid they're like exchanging information at least on the show there right uh you got one of them in a showmance that's questionable <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> yeah. going back to that i, I thought it was funny with the the sweater drama. Oh my! I forgot. Yes, I forgot to bring that up. All insecure about the sweater. I was like, man, sweaters like they could cause a big deal like, just <laughs> in life. Like the amount of times drama's been started over a sweatshirt, man. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I tell you, man, it's like when you're in that house. I mean, when I was in there, people were wearing my clothes. Who cares? Who around people's clothes? But this guy here was like, you take that like that sweater. No, it's not. Ha- this is week one. Like, listen, man, they've known each other for like seven days. And he's already telling her you can't wear a sweater. Like, come on, man. It's like it's probably just Saj. She's like, it's a nice sweater. I want to wear it. You know, I I don't know. But but he said no. You take that sweater off right now. It's making me look dumb. And it's like, eesh. You know, uh, she's got to run. She's got to run, man. Like I get, I get it in a, in a sense, but relax a little bit. Bit of know? a red flag. It's a huge red flag. <laughs> like a huge red flag. You know, like if I was her and I'm wearing, you know, some guy's sweater or whatever, and he says, take it off. I'm like, yeah, no, this is not going to happen, man. Like you, you, you got to go like, not, this is not how this works. You know what I mean? I'm, I'm wearing a fucking piece of clothing. Like who cares? Or you what know? if you're you and you're wearing some guy's sweater? <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. Then I got to, you know, take it off. Uh, dude, I tell you when I was on, uh, on the, my first season, I barely, my clothes were everywhere, man, everywhere. This person's wearing them. That person, like. It was just a, a showcase of my clothes, so it, it is what it is. It's the way Big Brother works, man. But yeah, the Easy Bro Alliance. Stuff. I, I think the 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 Bro Alliance, man. If they if they can stick together, 
Uh, they have a ton of potential. I like, you know, they do the old pretty boy. There was a pretty boys. I don't know if you watched season seven uh, alliance. They're like one of the strongest alliance. It was four guys. And, uh, you know, it's a basic strategy. You have, you have your group and then you have branches, right? And so, like, everybody in the group connects to someone on the outside. They, you know, tell them where to vote. They kind of control their votes and then they run the house because they have their core alliance and then everybody else, they're telling who to vote. That's who the house is. And uh, you control the vote. And, yeah, it works uh, every time. Yeah, exactly, right? So it's like this uh, – so they're trying the similar strategy. It's It's kind of working. Uh, again, we're only one week in, but there's kind of some cracks. You know, some of the boys aren't liking each other right now, and and who knows? I mean, things change, And but um, yeah, so the girls want to make an alliance to come after them, I guess. The guys have their alliance. They're denying it, but it's so obvious that it's happening, and uh, you know, it's it, I, I, the way I see it, as soon as there's about 70% of the house, anybody but the boys, if, if they win, I think the boys are going up, and Zach's probably going to be the first one to take the fall, I, I would say. Sure. Um... All right, and then there's another thing that you didn't see the last episode. So in these books, in these books, um, there's the, the the billiard room, right? The the pool table room, and there's all these mm-hmm. books everywhere, and they're they're blank pages. Okay, well, Santina, the girl that was HOH, she opens one of the books, and it says, I think it says something like the unseen game. There was a note inside, and then the eyes Ooh. and that dog start going like this. So who knows what that means? So there's a twist probably coming up, or some clues coming up this week. Uh, which could be big. Um, the unseen game. I don't know what that would be, man. Maybe it's a twist, like a invisible HOH or something. I don't know. But uh, or maybe she gets to see some footage or something. I don't know. But uh, maybe they take out a black light, and there's gonna be uh, yeah, <laughs> stuff written somewhere or or, huh? or stuff you don't want to see. <laughs> I thought you were gonna say something else. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> yeah, maybe that's actually a good. That's actually a really. You know what? I didn't even think of that. Maybe there's like a black – yeah, that's a good idea. That's actually a really good uh, – I didn't even think of that. A black light, yeah, the unseen game, and you're checking it out, and maybe it spells something or gives you some clue or it gives you where a veto is or something. That's actually really clever. I didn't even think of that myself. Check the check the kitchen island. Check the walls. Check the bed sheets. No, don't. Yeah, don't check the bed <laughs> sheets. That would <laughs> be like a flash bomb. <laughs> you, might not, you might want to self-evict at that point. Yeah, you don't want to check the bed sheets. That's for sure. <laughs> Dude, that is sick, though, man. I mean, like I said, man, like I know you don't do a Big Brother podcast. I know you're just like, I'll do it for you because I love you and I appreciate it very much, man. Uh, like, honestly, having you here and, and doing this, I really, really, really do appreciate it. Uh, you guys know, it, for those that haven't been around, uh, Johnny Mac and I are very, very good friends. We do play a game called Destiny together. We do game together. He hangs out in the, in the stream, uh, which uh, I do want to mention right now on Kick. Uh, I am streaming the episodes and the digital dailies on Kick. Uh, kick.com slash Capone Gaming. I'll put the link below. Uh, check it out. And I do stream on Twitch uh, every day as well. Twitch.tv slash Capone Gaming. I'll put that link below as well. Johnny, is there anything that uh, you're, you're streaming? What's going on? Talk to me. What do we want to What do we want to put? What links do we want to put down? Your OnlyFans, what do we got? No, nah, there's there's literally nothing to plug. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. His OnlyFans. Hanging out. <laughs> I'll put his OnlyFans and his, uh, and his uh, Twitch. You got Twitch. Yeah, but I don't use it. Well, whatever, man. We're gonna put it down anyway. <laughs> <laughs> don't, don't put anything. You can't. You cannot find me on the internet. This is a. Uh, this is a Bruno Aiello exclusive. <laughs> it is true. It is true. I'll, I'll. Yeah, I know. Johnny. Johnny's a beauty, man. You know what? That's what I love about you. You know, and, and we need more players like you. You didn't go on the show to be like this, like influencer and this, like you didn't do that. You went on the show to play the game. And that's what I love. He's like, dude, he doesn't use his Instagram and his, his Twitter and stuff. He doesn't plug that stuff. He doesn't use it. He was there because he loved the show. We need way more players like you, man. Cause I feel like today in today's big brother, it's all like people go on. They're like, yeah, I want to, I want my spinoff show and I want to, you know, get him <laughs> like, what the, who are you? You know what I mean? Like, what do you mean? I remember on, uh, there was a, one of the seasons of big brother, this guy literally thought, and he was, when he was on the live feeds. He literally thought he was going to get a spinoff show when he got out. Like, who, 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 who do you think you are? You know what I mean? So anyway, uh, yeah, crazy. But anyway, but Johnny, I want to say thank you so much, man. If there's anything you wanted to mention that I didn't bring up, I want to say thank you for taking the time to sit down, man, and chat. You know, you know how much I love you, man, for sure. So anything you want to mention yeah. before uh, before I do? Is there anything I forgot that you want to bring up? Um, trying to think the the uh, the Who Done It theme. I think. There's been a lot of that shit this year. A lot of that <laughs> been shit. Multiple movies with that. <laughs> and then I was yeah. like, all right, that's interesting. But then we lost that creepy guy with the mask in the opening credits. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Dude, the How house is. He in the house, like tormenting people. <laughs> the house is sick, though, eh? Like, what do you think of the house? 
Yeah, it's it's very pretty. I'm sure if you get up close though, you're like, oh, right. This is- it's dirty as hell. Oh god, yeah. You already know. Nobody you know, but actually they have a vacuum sponsor this year, but I still agree. The bottom I remember the bottom of our feet were always black. Like our socks were always yeah. black. Like it's just like it's so dirty in there. And that's actually the bottom of my feet were black the first day, and then I was like, I'm always wearing sandals or yeah. something. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's gross in there. But speaking of that, actually, they uh, one of their sponsors is a vacuum. Now, normally they wouldn't do that because they're so noisy, right? And you're not gonna put a vacuum in the house because th- there's microphones everywhere. So all you hear is this yeah, fucking yeah. vacuum going. And uh, and yeah, so we watched the digital dailies there, uh, which is two and a half hours of just random footage. Uh, and, uh, oh yeah, you, when Vanessa's out there vacuuming, all you hear, that's all you can hear is this fucking vacuum. And it's just like, it's the most annoying. I mean, you don't want to hear that in in your, in your own house, you know, so, it's, it's just the most annoying, uh, sound. But anyway, so that's why they don't do this, but they do have a vacuum sponsor this year. And, uh, and Vanessa, the, the, the lady there, she's definitely, uh, making sure she gets some screen time with that. So, but Johnny, I do want to say, do you use it in your house? I have a central vac. I don't even know what it is, man. I don't even know what kind of vacuum I use. <laughs> it's just like it plugs in the wall. And... Oh, okay. It's like one Dude, of those. I got a cordless Dyson this year. It's pretty fucking awesome. Yeah, those are those are top tier though, man. See, I'm not, I, I, you know, I'm, I'm a streamer. I'm not a, you know, he's a Johnny. Johnny's a, a rock star by day, stripper by night, and he's doing, uh, he's doing well. <laughs> Yo, live stream you good though, Johnny? Before we wrap this up, live stream you good, man? Yeah, yeah, everything's great. We're uh, we're doing good out here. <laughs> That's what I like to hear, man. I haven't seen Johnny since what season five finale. I was you came down, you came down to Toronto or Niagara Falls to to hang out with season five finale. Yeah, yeah, that's how it went. There was Big Brother Canada seasons one through five. Cut to there's eleven now. I'm yeah, like, all right, great. Yeah. <laughs> I agree, man. No, I really appreciate that too. So Johnny came to season five finale to hang out with me. Uh, like I said, we've been boys for a while. He brought a nice two for a Corona, like a beauty, and uh, yeah, man, and then. That's I agree, man. I think after five, I kind of fell off of it too a little bit. I still watch it, but I'm not as invested as I was before. Um, but yeah, dad, yeah, it's crazy how we're at 11 right now. I still can't believe. It. I still remember season one watching it uh, live, and I can't believe we're at 11 right now, man. It's hopefully we get a 12 like and a 13 put together. Yeah, two ones put together. I hope we get to 12, 13, and 14, man, because uh, who knows? But yeah, who knows with with canceling the feeds and with the sponsors and stuff? Who knows what happens? Uh, but it is what it is. We'll, we'll have to see. But Johnny, I want to say thank you so much for coming on, man. I appreciate you so fucking much, man. Uh, you're an absolute legend. Uh, make sure, you know, make sure we check them out guys. And don't forget to follow us on kick. Don't forget to follow us on Twitch and uh, I'll put all those links below and, and we'll uh, do some stuff. Johnny, give me a name. Who do, who's pre- who you predict to win? Give me one name. Just a random one. If you don't even know their names. Um, Steve, Steve, there's no Steve, but Steve. Ah, shit. Okay. <laughs> uh, God, why am I getting so stumped so easily? Uh, one of the Dans. One of the Dans. All right. <laughs> one of the Dans. I'm holding you to it. All right, buddy. Uh, John, Johnny, thank you so much, man. I appreciate it, man. Like you say. It's, it's, yeah, take it easy. You're an absolute thank beauty. You. All right, my man. We'll see you later, buddy. Thank you, thank you. Peace, 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 peace.